Well, howdy, folks. Well, I got watching that uh, two before contest on YouTube on what you can make with a two before. I thought that sounded like a whole lot of fun, so I thought I would give it a try and see if we can uh, build some prospecting equipment out of a two before. Stay tuned. Let's see what we come up with. Well, the two before is a little rough, so we thought we'd uh, kind of clean it up a little bit. I wanted the base on this to be about 5 eighths of an inch thick. So we'll take a couple of pieces of this two before and split them down the middle in order to get the thickness that we need here. Now we'll run them through the planer and plane them down to the thickness that we need for the base. Well I decided to use some biscuits to uh, line these up and help support the seams on them a little bit. So we'll have to mark some indexing marks on these to line the biscuits up. Well, now this is the fun part. Trying to get all the glue down and keep it uh, from getting all over everything. Now we'll take and trim the base to the final width. We'll do a little sanding now to kind of smooth things out a little bit. Get rid of the glue lumps and uh, get everything uh, the same height. Well, it's all starting to come together now. So now all I have to do is put a little finishing on there and the mat and we have a vortex sluice. Well, to mark the holes where to drill the water bar, I took a little uh, three-quarter inch plug, put a number six screw through the center of it, and that will allow me to mark uh, where to drill the holes. I want the water bar to sit just above the mat slightly, so we put a block of wood under there to give us about the right spacing. Just push hard on there and uh, we got a mark here to start our drilling. I like to drill about halfway through for the T and then drill the rest of the way through with a drill that's the same size as the uh, three-quarter inch pipe that coming in from the back. That way you get a nice snug fit on both of them.
I decided I wanted the color just a little bit darker, so we'll uh, use a little of this Watco teak oil on there and uh, just kind of tone it down a little bit and give it a little nicer, warmer color to it. For the water bar, I used three quarter inch PVC tubing and uh, I drilled quarter inch holes a half inch apart. Well, after we get a little finish on it, it's starting to look a little better. Now all we need to do is get us a mat cut for it. The mat I'm going to use on this is the same one that I used on the uh, mini sluice. It's a Martin Prospecting Gold Stop mat which is just about the same thing as uh, the Gold Cube Vortex mat. This stuff is really fantastic for catching the fine gold and it works better than anything that I have found yet. Here's kind of an example of that. Uh, here the fingers were pointed upstream towards the flow and so they acted as a little catcher's mitt and the fine gold gets driven down into the little pockets and the larger gold just kind of sits on top and gets trapped also by the fingers in there. So most of the gold gets caught within about the top three or four inches. At this point we can mount the elevation bolt. This goes underneath at the back of the sluice and allows us to raise the back of the sluice higher or lower to change the angle. This will increase or decrease the flow of the water slightly. Here's a shot of it with the adjustment knob on there. This allows you to very, very fine tune the elevation on it. Well, here's the finished product. It was a fun little project to do and gave me a nice addition to my sluices. Now all I have to do is slip in the mat and hook up the pump and it's ready to start running dirt. This is my portable setup now with the new sluice installed. It's a three gallon water supply and uh, it has a shelf underneath to hold the water supply and the catch basin and a little one gallon catch basin there so I can process a gallon of material at a time. Well, the camera's having kind of a hard time focusing on this, but you can see where the gold just falls out within about the first three or four inches of the mat here. Where I'm located, there's not many places we can put a stream sluice in and work a large amount of material. So this little portable setup has worked out very well for me to take out camping and uh, run out of the back of my truck and run, uh, you know, a bucket or two at a time that I collect. Well, here's what it looks like set up in a stream. All you have to do now is uh, stick a pump in the water, hook it up, and you're good to go. Well this is a set of extended legs I put on it that will raise it up to a good height if you're sitting at a chair and feeding it. 
and also the shelf will fit underneath that which can hold the recirculation pump and uh, the tanks. Well that's how my project turned out. It was a fun project and a nice addition to my sluices and I had a lot of fun doing it. Well thank you for watching. Bye now.